Good morning and welcome to the At Home with Roby show. I'm Ashley Davis along with Trent Haston, president and CEO of the Roby family of companies. We're your hosts. Thanks for spending your Sunday morning with us. Whether you're in the car or on the couch, you're always at home with Roby. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's Andrew, R-O-B-Y.com. Trent, good morning to you, my friend. Later on in the show, we're going to have some friends on, on from NARI, the National Association of the Remodeling Industry. But before we get to that, we'll talk about that later. It's November the 1st. First of all, I can't believe Halloween has already happened. We have candy in the studio, but I can't believe it's November beyond that. What a, what a year it's been. Man, good time of year. My favorite time of year, fall. Uh, we, we got an old used hot tub at home. I'm trying to get my wife off of her uh, off of her chair to get that hot tub running because <laughs> there's a chill in the air. Just sell it on eBay and go buy another one. That's we bought it on you eBay. Bought it on eBay. <laughs> no, we bought it on Craigslist. <laughs> Let me be. It was a oh, local yeah, I'm not purchase. Sure what's worse. <laughs> uh, I remember, yeah, we bought that thing like two and a half years ago. I remember making my dad go over there and get with me. He's just shaking his head going, boy, what have you got me into? <laughs> but we got it. It worked. But now now we got to get it filled up for the for the good fall And speaking chill. of hot tubs, we're, for a shameless <laughs> plug, when you buy one of those, you got to hook it up. You call Roby Electric. <laughs> Patrick's going to be on the show later. That's and so. y'all heard, us, heard me talk about Mouse, uh, our, our veteran – electrician handyman and he did wire that hot tub for me and put me some lights outside as well uh existing house fished it around a concrete slab and a brick veneer wall so uh so if you need that done go to andrewroby.com the talents of mouse but i mean you, you you go you love halloween as a kid and then you go through a 10 year period or so in your life where it's it's a good party night, but yeah. whatever you kind of forget that it's Halloween, and then you have kids, and, and they get to be five or six. You know, I have seven, five, four, and a little baby. It they they love it oh. so much. They they love nothing more. Friday for school, I got I take them to school. Friday, uh, Tatum and Ron, my two oldest, were dressed up like princesses. Yeah, nice. And I said, why don't we just make it a Friday thing? And they said, no, no, Daddy, we can't. We got to wear our uniforms to school, so. That's a public school making a man. If I'd have had a war uniform when I was in public school, I'd have been. I tell you, I, my kids wear uni- my kids wear uniforms, <laughs> but it, and it makes it so easy. You got you got nothing to worry about. You just wake up. You know what they're gonna wear. You got to put it on. My only argument my, with my six year old now is he, it doesn't matter how cold it's gotten so far. He hates long pants. I want to wear shorts, Daddy. I'm wearing shorts, so. Man, that well, bother me. well, I don't know if Lands End has some kind of deal no, with the Charlotte Mecklenburg <laughs> school system. They got a racket with every school. It's, you got to buy through Lands End. It's Lands End, yeah, logoed Land's gear. I mean, I didn't know about logoed gear till I was thirty. It so we were Land's just talking in. about getting Roby logoed gear. That was a new phenomenon in my life. My kids now look like little preppies. I think we just plugged Lands End on the show. Yeah, I'll I don't wear much Lands End, but my kids do. <laughs> My Capital One card likes lands in. <laughs> the uh, FedEx lady. No, you know, lady, there are no blackout periods with that Capital One card. The, the FedEx lady, hey, free miles. Free whatever. miles. No. What's in your wallet? Well, the Panthers. Let's talk a little bit about the Panthers, oh, man. We are their lucky charm, though they're not playing today. 6-0, and oh, they'll be playing tomorrow. Monday night. And I'm going to my first game of the year. Are you really? You yeah, going to I'm going to have a good time. So, uh, do a little tailgating. Playing uh playing in a little golf tournament out at uh, P I C C in Pine Island, and I got some really good friends. The Griffin family owns the club. I'm gonna give a plug for my my buddies. They they own uh, some tire stores, the Griffin Brothers, and they and they own Pine Island. They grew up there, so they they thought, hey, we've made a dollar. Let's let's own a golf club. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if they I don't know how they love it, but but that's where the tournament is. Right. So, I said, what is P-I-C-C? And Mike says, well, it's Pine Island Country Club, of course. So uh, I love the course. We're yeah, going to have a good time a tomorrow. Track. So we got that. Hanging out with my buddies that I, yeah. that I share business philosophies with. We just cut up. Enjoy that beautiful course, that beautiful clubhouse. Harry Schrader designed the clubhouse. It's a beautiful. It's a nice Harry Schrader's an architect friend has been on the show. Yep. And then uh, and then we're going to go tailgate and play, uh, play a little cornhole out before the Panthers game. Yep. And see them go seven and zero. Oh. You know that course. It's uh, not to get off track of the Panthers, but it's kind of a, a microcosm of Charlotte. You look. It was started in 1968. Old school West Side golf course. Great golf course. Old clubhouse. And then when the economy boomed, they kind of just re- revolutionized who they were. Reinvented themselves. The Griffins bought it. Tore down the old clubhouse. Built this really nice concept clubhouse with Harry Schrader. So it's kind of neat to see things evolve. We talk about a lot that a lot on the show. And it's good to see people that you think 
have like business minds putting their money where their mouth is. They they got they got a first class architect. They're they're putting first class efforts and money into the club over the last ten years since they've owned the families owned the club and and they're empowering the club and the board and and to 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 manage itself and be prosperous and, and they're running it like a a good business and now it's seeing the successes of it. Yep. And every time I go play it or take clients to play it or guests or friends Everybody brags about yeah, how nice yeah. the golf is. So best uh, thing about it I like though is some of the par fours are kind of short, so I can drive the green. Well, you hit the ball long anyway. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about what we got coming up here. Absolutely, we got some friends in the studio today. Uh, we have Reed Harkey, who is one of my best friends. He owns Harkey Tile and Stone. Used to be uh, a couple decades ago, his family business is, is the Renfro Tile and Stone business, and. Uh, his dad was one of the founders of, of the Charlotte chapter of NARI, National Association of the Ramon Industry. So the show's based on that. What NARI does is it promotes ethics and quality and successful entrepreneurs, successful businesses, service businesses in the in the Ramon industry in the Charlotte area. That's what NARI does. Uh, founded in the early 90s by Reed's father, uh, Jim Harkey, and some other guys that I, I'm very fond of. So he's going to be on. And then we have the current president of Nary, rolling into a second term, Patrick McIsaac, who runs Roby Electric. So uh, it's the Roby family putting its money where its mouth is. And then we're also, along with Patrick, going to have Mike Waite, who is the executive director now going on four years. Nary's in a great spot. It's, 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 it's flourishing, so it's able to do what it's supposed to do and uplift the remodeling industry in the Charlotte region in a boom time when it's needed most. Absolutely, and it, it really is a great organization. We'll talk about what they do, how they help people at home, how you guys work with them at Androby, but also their work in the community is great, too. Yeah. A lot of stuff. So that's great. Uh, folks, re- when you're listening to the At Home with Roby show, stay with us. When we come back, we're going to talk more about NARI, the National Association of the Remodeling Industry. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 